how you can prevent and handle deadlock in a database. Deadlock are common concurrency issue in a database system that occur when two or more transactions are waiting for each other to release lock on resources, causing them to be stuck in a state of deadlock. Preventing and handling deadlock in a database requires a combination of strategies and techniques. Use a deadlock de detection mechanism. Many database management systems have built-in deadlock detection mechanism that automatically detects and resolves deadlock. This system can automatically choose a transaction to be terminated, releasing the lock it holds so that the other transaction can proceed. However, this approach can lead to data inconsistency if not handled carefully. Optimized database design. Properly designed database schema can help to reduce the likelihood of deadlocks. Normalize the data base structure. Use appropriate indexes and design queries that minimizes the time locks are held. Lock timeout. Set the lock timeout for transaction. If a transaction cannot acquire a lock within a specific time frame, it can be automatically terminated, preventing long-running transaction from causing deadlock. Avoid long transaction. Encourage shorter and more focused transaction. Long-running transactions are more likely to cause deadlock as they hold locks for extended period. Lock granularity. Use the smallest possible lock granularity. For example, if you only need to update a single row, don't lock the entire table. Use row locking page level locks when possible to minimize lock contentions. Lock hint. Use lock hint on isolation level in SQL queries to control how locks are acquired and released. For example, using no lock hint in SQL server allows for dirty read by not acquiring shared locks, which can reduce the chance of deadlock. However, it may lead to data integrity issues. Lock weight policies define and implement lock weight policies that dictate how long a transaction should wait for a lock before considering it's a deadlock. This helps in controlling the impact of deadlock and reducing their occurrence. Queue management implement a queue management system to manage concurrent access to resources. The system can prioritize the queue transaction, ensuring that they are executed in a way that minimizes deadlock. Use deadlock detectors. Considering using third-party deadlock detection tool or monitoring system that can proactively detect and alert you to deadlock as they occur. Retry mechanism. In application code, implement a retry mechanism for handling deadlock. When a transaction encounters a deadlock, it can be retried after a brief delay to see if the situation resolves itself. However, it should be done with a caution to avoid infinite retries and potential performance issues. Transaction and lock releases Ensure that transactions are designed to release lock as soon as they are no longer needed. This practice can help to reduce lock contention and likelihood of deadlock. Testing and profiling Regularly test and profile your application and database to identify potential deadlock scenarios. Use tools and diagnostics to monitor and analyze the behavior of your database under various workload. Remember that specific approach to prevent and handle deadlock can vary based on the database system you are using. It's essential to consult the documentation and best practices specify to your database is specific to your database management system. Additionally, a combination of strategies as well as monitoring and tuning is often necessary to effectively manage and reduce occurrence of a deadlock in a database system.